Let me go, go ahead. No, I mean these are the types of policies that a country that's not serious about defending itself adopts. Right after September 11, President Bush said that we will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. It is incredibly clear that the Obama administration is tired of American leadership in the world. Their oh, foreign really? policy is intellectually bankrupt, and as we see with this, and as we see with the Iran deal, their foreign that, policy has that failed. Is so unfair. I, I agree we should harden the entrances to these facilities, but this was a surprise attack, hard to protect, impossible to protect everything 100% of the time. They only have to be lucky once. But we have to get into the heads of these kids. I don't kids. think we should use the word lucky, but uh, well, effective. Uh, yeah, but a lot of them get captured because they don't know how to work explosives, etc. And we've actually had a lot of success in foiling a lot of these plots. We should give credit to our police and, and safety communities. But back to this, we have to get into the heads of these kids. I have a, an op-ed in today's post talking about how digital unsavvy we are. We should leverage the talent of Silicon Valley yeah, let, let and all for these a second, because kids I, I, out there. I want to pick up on and that because pop up in their when you faces were the, me, when they me, go on computers. Let me, let me ask you the question, Congresswoman. Okay. When you were uh, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, in fact, you got involved in this and you even you proposed bet. legislation that that basically said, "Look, they're recruiting over the internet. We have to find a way." To, to, to intercept that, to short circuit it. Right. it didn't go through the Senate, it didn't pass. It didn't go through the Senate because some groups uh, mi mis distorted what we had tried to do. This was uh, supposed to be a, a multidisciplinary uh, committee making recommendations to Congress about how to intercept these messages before people engage in violent well, so, acts. So very briefly, give me, and, and keep it <laughs> simple for me, how would you do it? How would you stop ISIS on the Internet from you know putting a message out there that some of these crazies read and are inspired by. I don't know about you, Chris, and I'm a little old in the tooth to understand how to do this well, but every time I go on the Internet and I look at a blog, something pops up, another message from somebody. What we want is when some kid like this, an impressionable kid uh, with a, a, a history of depression and a, and a family that was dysfunctional, goes on the Internet and he's looking up Dabiq, which is this glossy magazine that ISIS puts out, a pop-up message comes and says, don't believe any of this, the truth is that. And it shouldn't have a State Department Twitter handle on it, it should be from somebody who's credible in his own head. And I think we could dissuade a lot of these kids if they got the fact. Michael? Fair and balanced, Chris. Fair and balanced presentation. Yeah, it's a proposal to treat the symptom, not the actual problem. The problem is that ISIS is growing in influence overseas, and we need to go overseas and we need to crush and, and, and humiliate them over there so that they're not attracting. If there's not a base overseas that's attracting these people to it, people going on social media and trying to recruit are just internet trolls. And so the challenge is that we have not gone so you think over the, the Middle East of ISIS, and defeated ISIS. And, and the success of ISIS overseas and the fact, quite frankly, that our war against ISIS is not going well at all is a factor, a contributing factor in the recruitment. Of course, look, in social media, it's, a, it's an even yeah, battlefield. They can recruit over there, and our counterintelligence yeah. uh, services can also try to disrupt over there. We but need to go destroy them overseas. Let me just, if I might just ask Julie, well, how would they